Good morning, Cardinals fans. Welcome back to Bird Seeds. I'm Tara Wellman. I hope you have your coffee because we have a game to talk about. Technically, yesterday afternoon, the show's called about last night. We're just going to roll with it. But first, if you haven't been here before, welcome to this channel. I cover the St. Louis Cardinals for birdsontheblack.com and create daily and weekly content right here on YouTube, all centered around the St. Louis Cardinals. So if that's interesting to you or if you've been here a couple of times and this is a return visit, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notifications if you want to find out every time there is a new video because daily and weekly people. There are a lot of them to keep up with. But for now, this video is all about last night. My goal is always to keep you in the loop and entertained. So here we go. Big news, everybody. The Cardinals are now three and eight in games following an off day in 2019. Although this one might not count because technically they didn't have yesterday off. They were at the ballpark for a long time before game two with the Cincinnati Reds was called off. So there's at least an asterisk by that record if it doesn't cancel it out entirely. But I'm again getting ahead of myself. So let me rewind. <laughs> Dakota Hudson took the mound for the St. Louis Cardinals to close out the homestand with the final game of the series with the Reds facing off against Anthony DiScalfani. Hudson has been what one might call a stopper lately, which is something considering uh, about a month ago we were trying to run him out of the starting rotation. And in true stopper form, he bent but didn't break, holding back the power potential of the Cincinnati Reds lineup. 13 of 19 outs recorded were of the ground ball variety, and the truth is that is when Hudson is at his best. Now he does have to get some called strikes at the bottom of the strike zone every now and then, and he has shown the ability to go up in the zone to work swings and misses out of that, but when Hudson is getting weak contact on the ground, he is cruising. Which is a good thing, because do we all remember how slow he is when he's not cruising? That afternoon game would have taken all night. But anyway, 13 ground outs on the day, he threw 98 pitches to get through six and a third. The only Reds run that scored was on a bases loaded sack fly in the fourth. Talk about limiting the damage. Although it does go down as a run given back, because the Red Birds had just scored the first run of the game in the bottom of the third. Even that first run took some extra effort on the part of one Harrison Bader, who wisely took third on a sacrifice bunt by Hudson. Yes, you heard me. Harrison Bader went first to third on a sack bunt. Hey, if the infielders are all gonna charge and then stand around and wait to see if the ball rolls foul, keep running. It didn't, he did, and Matt Carpenter drove him home. Carpenter, by the way, now batting over 300 since about the second week of May. And the aggressive base running didn't stop there. While Bader's extra base doesn't go down the same way in the scorebook, Matt Carpenter, Marcelo Zuna, Colton Wong, and Dexter Fowler all picked up stolen bases on the day. The slightly irritating thing is that it didn't really do them any good. The game stayed tied at one run apiece until the bottom of the seventh. And then, like clockwork, the best game recapper in all the land, one Stu Styles, tweeted that Paul DeYoung was what one might call do. And bam! Two run blast! Stu, my man, <laughs> do that more often, would you? And boy, did that one feel good. The young had been in a slump of slumps, and after the MVP type pace he was off to for the first six weeks or so of the season, it was getting hard to watch. The legendary Cardinals Gifts pointed out the other day that DeYoung has struggled since getting hit on the wrist a week or so back, so it felt like maybe that was lingering a little bit, but no worries on that swing last night. He found the power stroke that's been MIA, and it's a good thing, because that would be that. DeYoung's blast plus clean outings from the big three out of the bullpen, Andrew Miller, John Gant, Jordan Hicks, would be enough. And that is the story of the St. Louis Cardinals finishing out the abbreviated series with the Cincinnati Reds with a 3-1 to one winner. And that closes the homestand. And if you're feeling good now, well, <laughs> good luck, because it's back to Wrigley. And we all know that anything can happen there. You should probably make sure you're subscribed to this channel so that we can talk about it later. I'll see you then.